uh, in this case on the road, come back the next night from Oklahoma City to get the Bulls. That didn't happen, but it is a reference point. Yeah, what's interesting, the Pacers in the last five of those stats we showed you, two home losses, narrow losses to Minnesota and Chicago. This is a Brooklyn team that is well under 500, but last week they went into Cleveland and led by as many as 28. That was early in the season. They played them four times in the first 20 plus games, and that's when it was Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. And that's a basket by Siakam. Skip pass goes to Siakam. He spins on Finney Smith and lays it in. But you see the physicality, that's what I'm talking about. Johnson cut off by Nimhar. Well defended. See, that, Finney Smith does that. He knows when to cut. He's a great cutter. Take the first shot. That's the one you've been taking, though you've struggled a little bit making some shots. Take it. And count the basket and a foul. Claxton has six. Johnson had a right ankle sprain that kept him sideline. They lost in Orlando. Here's the Pacers running. Neesmith, left hand, count it in the foul. Has had three 40-point games this year. He had four last year. Here's Toppin, splits the defense, and it rolls in. Made a heck of a move, left-hand dribble on a 6'10 Toppin to get it to the glass and in. You're driving to the lane, and the defense is going to be slow to react to, so you've got a wide-open shot. And Johnson drops another three. They had a 26-point lead last Sunday in Cleveland as McConnell. He's quick. He's been a bucket getter for the Pacers. As Quinn mentioned, the interim head coach here, Shepard, ready to shoot. Hits. First three of the night for the Pacers. They had missed their first six. Athlete. Johnny Walker's an athlete. Watch him. Yeah, he's an athlete. You got to know what he wants to do. He's a driver, but he's more of an athlete than anything else. I will give a hint. This, this coach like to coach in a lot of places. <laughs> well, it all depends. He could like to coach in a lot of places. It'll be like a player. Walker. I thought he was going to drive for to score, but he wanted to throw the pass, and and he's firing again. Misses that three. Tracked down by Claxton. Oh, no. Yeah, you go for it. But on the back side, yeah, there's a timeout. Then all of a sudden he realized that everybody had as much athletic ability as he did, and then he became a, a bit more of a basketball player. And there he is scoring again, second field goal. And here's Dennis Smith again, this time too long, rebound out to McConnell. That's what you want him to do, he's, he's not a good shooter. Walker in contact and traffic. Smith put it in. And trying to recapture it, he was the last one to touch it. Finney Smith lines up a three and they're up eight. Indiana's led for just 30 seconds in this game. Smith for three. Seven off the bench for Jalen Smith. What Pacers fans have to know, if you get into a point where you're looking at an athletic play, Brooklyn's probably going to make more yeah. of those. So you've got to make sure you're solid on what you're doing defensively. They had to come across it. I them still hammer it. Dick Claxton. That is the ninth turnover for Kevin Ollie's team. Got him. Here's Neesmith to give the Pacers the lead. So slowly but surely, they are getting better on the defensive end. Thanks so much, JJ. Here's Schroeder back the other way, leaves it off. And the basket and a foul, De'Ron Sharp. Four minutes to play first half. Schroeder steps into a three. Second of the night for Dennis Schroeder. He had three white jerseys around him, Siakam. One of those is Finney Smith. Raising, scoring is Siakam. What people don't appreciate is, is his strength. High up off the glass, into the hands of Halliburton. I love the advance of the pass there. Knee Smith, up, under, missed it, got his own rebound, put it in, and a foul. I mean, he, he's, he's not quite, I mean, he's not as good as Siakam, but he's Siakam light. Halliburton just short, put in by Toppin. And Halliburton back the other way. Knee Smith had a double figure first half, so too did Siakam, he lays it in. Nice job. It'll be interesting to see Thomas and Bridges scored just 10 points combined in the first half. Over the last three games, they averaged 47. And 
there's a three by Bridges. An offensive rebound, too. First of three meetings in the season's final 15 games. Thomas, he hits this time. Yeah, that's a tough one. Halliburton out of Nimhart, missed in the other corner, and misses again. Nice job rebounding, clearing space for Siaka. Two for a quarter, two for a dollar. You call it either way. Schroeder. In and out, no good. Rebound tipped out. Thomas. <laughs> Halfway through the third quarter. Obi Toppin is in. Here's Halliburton. And had that block put in. And a foul by Turner. And the Pacers have their largest lead at seven. Taken by Halliburton. And it crawls in. Indiana by nine. Definitely just around the corner, and the Pacers will be in the playoffs. That's what we all want to see. Pounded down, Turner. Really good play coming out of the timeout. Nice patience. Nice patience. Halliburton trying to get away from Watford. Goes inside. Put it up and in. Nice patience. Yeah, he got knocked down. Schroeder to a cutting Jackson. Great, great defense there. They're letting them play, but really good defense. Yeah. No look over the top to top it. The advantage, and this has been the Pacers' best quarter all year long. It was not like that against the Bulls on Wednesday, but Watford with the basket and a foul here on Valley Sports. And they are on a roll. Watford scores. They've cut it to six. Here is McConnell, sets for three. TJ got it. Yeah, the difference was he took that one right away. The one he missed before him. Thomas. Loved it, crowded it. Wow. Slow start, he started to heat up. Yeah, they went through that zone again. Remember, it gave Pacers trouble before. Shepard to Smith. Yeah, yeah doubling, I like it. On the floor. Siakam got it. Nimhar spins. There's Siakam put it in. More and more comfortable with his new surroundings. He's been vocal and the emotion that he showed. How about that? Yeah, but Siakam is getting to the basket. He's just putting so much pressure on everybody. What a shot there by Cam Thomas. Oh, that guy's a bucket. McConnell with the shot clock winding down at four. Yep, he, he knows that I, this is the bench, ladies and gentlemen, that you can hear in the background. Uh, Coach um, Boylan and Jenny Dusick have been working on the defense. You can see where it's improved. And we just got another hallelujah from Halliburton. Reese Halliburton had missed his first eight, but he has 14 points and seven assists. That's a block with a basket by Thomas. <laughs> Crowd of over 17,000. We are just shy of a sellout tonight as Schroeder scores. Oh, look at Indiana. Shepard dunks it. From Halliburton. Shepard runs. Wants you to do. Run and run to your corner. That time he ran and got a three-point shot. Ooh. And that's Johnson. He made a couple of those in the first half. Has been Siakam. Oh, how about that? A block shot. And he stayed. <laughs> And a basket. Halliburton got a block shot. He never got to the other end. Brooklyn again on April 1st. Oklahoma City and Miami on a Friday and Sunday. And then the regular season finale, April 14th against Atlanta. Kendall Brown. And there's another dunk by Isaiah Jackson. This you look at it, Chris, it's just one of those that you, you, just, you just feel confident you're supposed to win. Kendall Brown puts it down. This is the bench, by the way. This wasn't me, but I get it. This is a team that's been maligned about his defense, that's played some very good defense here, and that's helped.